You recently conducted a very thorough masturbation experiment. Can you tell us a little bit about that? I would love to. Yeah. So, uh, yeah, essentially one of my really awesome sponsors is the magic wand, a dream sponsor. And I kind of went to them being like, okay, what if I did like a full on study of me using the magic wand and tracking all of these variables, what would happen? And so my research question was, what is the impact of daily magic wand use on my health and wellness, as well as my sexual experience when compared to regular sexual activity and no sexual activity? And so for consistency, I knew I needed to use a single method and I knew that a vibrator like the magic wand original would do the trick every time. And the experiment looked like this. Uh, it was a three-week experiment where the first week was abstinence week, so no sexual activity at all by myself or with my partner. The second week was treatment week. Uh, I used the magic wand every day with or without my partner. And the third week was regular week, so regular sexual activity as normal with and without the magic wand, with and without my partner, like however I would typically have sex. And every day I, or, or masturbate. And every day during the experiment, I recorded measures on 27 variables, including stress, anxiety, productivity, mood, horniness, orgasm experience, and a lot more. And then at the end of the three weeks, uh, my team and I analyzed the results by noting changes in each variable over time. And then, yeah, so huge, huge study, uh, 21 days. Uh, every day I also did a vlog recording of like what exactly I was feeling. Um, I also in the article that I wrote talk about, okay, how is my period related to this and my horniness and my mood? Um, and so it was a, a really important feat, I think. There's, there's not enough research, I think. Definitely single subject research on masturbation. And I was, yeah, I was really surprised and excited about the key takeaways that we learned. What were your key takeaways? Would love, thank you so much for asking. Would love to share. So uh, <laughs> when, so I have four key ones that I want to share. Okay. Uh, number one, when using the magic wand every day, I experienced less stress, anxiety, and physical tension. Number two, I reported more frequent positive moods when using the magic wand every day, including higher levels of confidence. Uh, number three, my orgasms, this is not really a surprise, but came faster and were more enjoyable when I used the magic wand every day. And surprisingly, my level of horniness increased over time when using the magic wand every day. For that last mm. one, I kind of assumed like, oh, I'm like forcing myself to do this. I'm not going to be in the mood. I'm like making myself have an orgasm every day when I like have other shit to do or whatever. <laughs> and I actually like it kind of was like this self-fulfilling prophecy where I was like craving it more the more I did it. Mm. Um, so, yeah, those those are like the top takeaways. But um, if you if you go to our website, sexedwithdb.com slash magic wand experiment, you can either listen to the full article or read the entire thing. And there's a ton of really great like bar graphs and uh, illustrations. And it was like a whole thing that I did. So I was, I was really, really excited to do it. Awesome. That sounds like, that sounds like uh, one of the more enjoyable experiments that it was. one yeah. could do. <laughs> totally. Hello, my amazing listeners. You know how much I love bringing this podcast to your ears every week. So if you're looking a way to support the show and get some fantastic perks, I've got just the thing, my Patreon page. With plans starting at just $5 a month, you can be part of our exclusive community. Your support not only helps to keep this podcast going, but it also unlocks some really cool bonuses. Imagine getting access to the live streams of my interviews as they happen. You'll be right in the middle of the action, seeing all of the unedited moments. But that's not all. As a Patreon member, you'll also get exclusive bonus content. I'm talking extra mini episodes where our guests answer questions submitted by you. Plus, you'll have access to my fine art photography and behind the scenes videos, giving you a sneak peek into my creative process. And guess what? If you opt for a discounted year long membership, you'll save even more while supporting the show. Longtime subscribers even get free HRU merchandise as a token of my gratitude. So want to join us? Head over to patreon.com slash hollyrandallunfiltered and become a part of our growing community. Your support means the world to me. Let's make this podcast even better.